thirsty. Guess I'll have a sip. I shouldn't wake them up. They just can't let it go, can they? Dad's favorite. No wonder he misses the field. <laughs> Must have fallen asleep watching the match. Don't want to go there yet. <gasps> oh, shit. Nikki, is that you? Yeah, Mom. It's just me. Someone on the terrace? Better check it out. I held on to this one for too long. Somehow, it helped me make friends. And when it didn't, I still never felt alone. Times used to be simple. We would bond over fun and games. Now it's just boys and makeup. Mom never appreciated my love for art. She thought I would go broke just like my uncle if I went for it. She still wants me to become a doctor. How boring. It's been so long since I have felt the solace. No bullies. No dumb teachers. No judgmental parents. Not feeling like a loser. But then again, I shouldn't get used to feeling good only when I'm talking to myself, right? <sighs> Maybe tomorrow will be a better day. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Ugh. Think I should head down now. What? Fuck it, I'm out of here.
Is that... Mom? What's going on in the house? Oh yeah, I guess I really couldn't take it tonight. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. I know it's gonna be tough on you, but I'm sure it will pass. This pain, this suffering, for you both, it will be just temporary, I know. But for me, I knew it's endless. Living the same unbearable daily life, I couldn't see the worth of living another day anymore. Nobody saw me for what I really am, and you both never accepted what I wanted to be in my life. No matter what I did, nothing changed, and I felt like I'm living on false hope. I really do feel bad for you both, but I'm sorry. I have no regrets.